Hey, 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 Cancer, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, ooh, February 22nd, to the 23rd Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below before you leave, if you would. I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Please also note that time and energy are fluid, so feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary. And know that this could be past, present, or future. I am using the Black and Gold Tarot deck right here. It was calling to me today, so I will get a couple of cards here, and then I will channel a message from Spirit for you all, and then get to the cards. We have the Four of Swords, the Judgment card, and the Tower. <sighs> That's my dog in the background, if you hear him. That's Teddy. Snoring. Catch your breath, Cancer. Catch your breath. Slow down. Slow your pace down. Listen to your heartbeat. This will take you out of the chaos and allow you peace, or at least a sense of peace for a moment. So whenever you feel there is chaos about you, do this. Listen, stop, listen to your heartbeat, and that's it. And then you'll feel this sense of peace coming over you. For some of you, this will lower your blood pressure because I feel like this chaos is really getting you stressed out and elevating this blood pressure. Mm. Love is lurking in the wings for you, Cancer, amidst this chaos. Waiting for the right moment. Hmm. Okay, Cancer. All right. Yeah, the chaos is evident in this tower here. So something's going on in your life um, that it either already happened or will be happening that you're going to need to heal from. Call on Archangel Michael for this and go deep within meditation. Okay, because you need to get your energy out of this tower. Hmm. The Ace of Cups. You need to focus on self-love. Clarify this tower. Clarify this tower. All right, why my phone does this? I don't know why it does this. No, 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 automatically switches screens and starts typing what I'm saying. And I'm not even touching anything. Okay, the tower is, the, the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the tower, um, clarifies the tower, which tells me whatever event is taking place or is about to take place is for your destiny. Like is for you to get on your Wheel of Destiny. So I don't care how disastrous it seems, Cancer, this is actually good luck for you. And below it is the Ace of Cups. So I'm feeling not only does this have to do with self-love, but this has to do with love itself. Spirit was saying love was waiting in the wings. And this is like, this is love waiting in the wings. Wow, crazy, huh? Now the tower, the tower is the number 16, and that reduces to a seven. Sevens are all about spirituality, spiritual connection. So it really is imperative that you take the time to go within and heal, right? And with judgment here, this is talking about balance. This is talking about an awakening. So within this healing, okay, and going within, you will gain epiphanies.
Mm. which will totally change your perspective. Mm. Clarify this judgment, please. Clarify this judgment. Mm. Yeah. Four of Wands. This is Twin Flame Energy, but this is also the number four. Now you have two fours here. Fours are popping up all over the place for everybody. This is a four year. This is actually a 22 year, which reduces to a four. And 22 is the master number for, for master builder. So anything that you're building now um, will be successful as long as you're putting action forward towards this endeavor, whether it be business, a relationship, a house, anything that you're building, right? So four of wands is the celebration card, is the marriage card, is the wedding card. Well, marriage is wedding, right? Clarify this four of wands. Okay, you may be getting um, information about the next person coming into your life. Two of pentacles. Two, again, I'm feeling this is about balance. The sun. And this balance, okay, is going to lead you to your happiness. Okay, this is a past life soulmate coming in. It could be a twin year. Definitely somebody from the past life soulmate who you're going to find it very easy to be vulnerable around. This person is going to make you smile. So you're going to get epiphanies from Archangel Michael regarding this balance of body, mind, and spirit, regarding this person that will be a part of your foundation that you will be building. Okay, so clarify this Ace of Cups. Who's this Ace of Cups? The hangman, possibly a Pisces, but isn't this funny? The love that's waiting in the wings, and this is the card of waiting. But while they're waiting, okay, Spirit wants you to know that they too are being enlightened. They too are seeing um, things in their life from a different perspective. Yep, releasing burdens, responsibilities that they no longer need with this Ten of Wands. Tell me more about this person for cancer. Ooh. Seven of Cups. Lifting that fog of confusion. And Knight of Cups. This is the romance card. And getting ready to offer you love, Cancer. Getting ready to offer you love. Now, the Seven of Cups, there's a little bit of confusion surrounding when the right time is, I'm feeling. And this is that enlightenment. While they're waiting um, Archangel Michael is helping them as well as you. So this burden of, and I'm feeling this burden more in the mind, like this heaviness and this confusion about when's the right time, when's the right time. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Tell me about the Four of Swords. King of Wands. You could be seeing somebody in your meditation. This could be the person coming in with the King of Wands. This person actually may aid you in this healing process. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But the King of Wands is fun, adventurous, uh, passionate, very good looking, very confident. Clarify the King of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands. What is the King here? Three of uh, Wands. Yeah, this person is the one that you've been waiting for. Yep, Page of Wands. And you'll be very excited when they come into your life. Very. So tell me some advice for this um, person, for this king, for Cancer. Nine of Cups. Uh, get ready for your wishes to be fulfilled because I'm feeling that this king is your wish fulfilled. And they're getting ready for you just as you are them. But when you come together, they're actually going to aid you in this healing process. You're going to help each other. Almost, it's very twin flamey because that's exactly what happens. So another advice card, another advice card, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, ground this wish, ground this wish. 
the Hermit card, the card of Virgo, another nine. Nines are about endings, right? And I do feel that you're ending one cycle, especially with the Wheel of Fortune here. Tens are all about endings and beginnings at the same time. And this is the Wheel of Destiny. This is fate knocking at your door. So the Queen of Pentacles is right below the Empress in my eyes. And this is somebody who's grounded, who's appreciative, who's nurturing, who knows how to make things grow, who loves to nurture with the tangible, what you can see, taste, touch, smell, right? Cooking a meal, um, keeping somebody warm, comforting in that way. Okay, Cancer. Well, I hope you resonated with this reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. You have yourself a wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.